Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, Fourier's Theorem. What we're going to do here is a picture, a visualized way to understand Fourier's Theorem. The theorem states that you can construct any periodic wave having frequency f using the sine waves with frequencies f, 2f, 3f, 4f, and so on, the harmonic series. So we can cook up any periodic wave using our ingredients, the harmonics. It's like making food. Anything can be made with the harmonics and we're going to try cooking up a square wave. Here's a square wave. How can we make a square? A sharp uh, edge here, a pointed uh, corner here with rounded sine waves. Well, the theorem says you start with F, the first one is the frequency that corresponds to the frequency of the wave you're aiming at. So I have the same frequency and we're going to put down this amount. We'll call this one cup. Notice that it's a little bit above the uh, middle part here of the wave. A little bit incorrect, but it's a close try for the first uh, attempt with one ingredient. Remember, we have an infinite amount of ingredients. Well, what can we do to make this wave better? Well, you see, this is too low here. Our sine wave needs to come up. This has to come down, up, down, up, down. Now, notice that these corrections wiggle, 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 three wiggles in the span of one wiggle, which means the third harmonic, triple the frequency. Up, down, crest trough one, crest trough two, crest trough three. So we need to add in some of the third harmonic, and the chef knows to put in one-third of a cup. So one-third the amplitude compared to our first harmonic and if we add those together we get this neat result here where there's two humps now instead of the one hump and not as off compared to what we had before. This looks a little closer. So we then go to correcting this further and we see that this has to come up, down, up, down, up and similarly here to get a better picture and this happens to be in step with wiggle, wiggle, it's one, wiggle, two, and a half one, that's two and a half, and since we have the doubles, five. Five wiggles here, five complete wiggles will do the job and from experience the chef knows just a dash, one-fifth of a cup. And when you add this together, this comes up, see this comes down, up, down, you get this looking better three harmonics here. Notice that they're just the odd harmonics and if you proceed like this you get the odd harmonics for the recipe. This is the recipe you could put on a credit card, index card, size uh, note so that we can send to our friend. And here we have actually added nine to the ninth harmonic and notice that we have little rabbit ears showing up called Batman ears or really the Gibbs phenomenon. We're not going to be treating this Gibbs phenomenon in class but we want to just point out that it does exist and as you go to infinity it remains and overshoots a little bit here something like uh, almost 20 percent. However even though it's not a perfect match mathematically speaking since the area will match perfectly and that little rabbit ear closes shut we uh, find that physicists are happy because you can't hear a wave that's closed shut because that would be zero time infinite frequency. So since the areas match up, we call it a nice match. 